Today's map requires a little bit of explanation because some of you are probably looking at the title The Hill and thinking, oh, he's playing custom maps now. You'd be wrong. This is an official map by Valve, actually. But you might be asking, well, wait a minute, Void. This isn't in my default, like, installation of Half-Life, and it never has been. And there's a reason why. The quick version of it is in December of 98, specifically December 4th, Valve released through PC Gamer Magazine, it was a collaboration, uh, a map called The Hill, which we're about to look at. And again, it was made by Valve, Dario Casali specifically. And the only way I believe you could get it was through like a data disc or like, you know, one of their little supplement discs that they distributed either on like the magazine. Maybe you could have gotten it on the PC Gamer website if it existed. I don't know. Um, but in February, Valve released something called Half-Life Further Data. Which had a bunch of things on it, new maps, including some that are in the like official installation from now on, like Crossfire and Frenzy, but also included this and a f about I think maybe four other maps that never have been officially released like in the game as it is now. You, uh, 2019, the latest version of this game, they still don't come with it. Uh, the free, further data was free. It essentially contained a bunch of models, sprays, the maps. And things to update, patches to update Half-Life to the latest version of the game. Um, you might be asking why they would do that. Remember, but internet was not nearly the same as it is now in 98, 99. Uh, you had dial-up, like, you know, slow, paid by the hour maybe. Some people weren't willing to go online to play or even, like, download a patch. They, that cost too much. But they were playing with their friends on LAN and, like, you know, other things like that. So, you know, that's maybe why... Someone like that would be interested still in, like, getting the new files and stuff like that. There's, so there's a little bit of backstory. Let's talk about the map. So the thing is, I do recall, I swear I played this actually on a server before, so people were playing this map. It just never occurred to me it was actually official. This is a very interesting map, though. Quite unlike the other maps that come with the game. So this is the main room, and of uh, these four corners, you got SMG and some, like, uh, SMG grenades. Completely symmetrical. You can't get out of this area unless you go through the teleporter. And by the way, this area down here, these are the only places that you can find um, the spawn points. Which is, again, quite unusual for the kind of map that this is. Also, as you can see, it gets a little busy in there. Probably the only time you'll ever see actual frame problems in a Half-Life game. Like on a modern computer, you know? Actually got me scared there and made me check to see if the game the Elgato was lagging out. Thankfully not. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, here's PC Gamer, obviously. Just so you know that too, like, you know, this was sponsored by. If you go through here, not like that, um, get out of this hellhole. My frames are dropping! Oh no, I have to upgrade my RAM. Um, this outside area doesn't actually have too much of note. Unless you're aiming upwards, which we'll talk about that in a bit. It, aesthetically, this one's a lot more basic than the other official maps. Which is obviously they wanted to focus on the game itself. Here's another higher area. The other higher area is over there. And as you see, like I said, there's really... On the ground floor itself, besides potential like places to hide and like, you know... Like shoot up from above, there's nowhere to go. So I'll show you what the meat of the map is. And why it's called The Hill. You get teleported to potentially two places when you go through there. This is the first one right there. You can drop down and get some grenades, which I forgot to mention were down there. And now, you're going to see here that the, the areas are identified by color. So this is area one, platform one. If you go here, you can get a gauze, which is really good. And it's really good on this map, which I'll point out in a bit. Um, you can actually walk on every ledge in this map, but you know... You really gotta, like, choose when to do so because, you know, people are gonna be firing at you from down below. And running on those is very risky. This is the other side where you can get some snarks. Very useful for this kind of map, as you, if you couldn't tell. You get a shotgun here, too. Um, not much more to say on this first part, but, you know, just, like, it goes all the way around. And this is essentially what the map's like. It's layered. Now, onto layer three. You got some claymores. And on every layer from here on... The front here has got some, uh, charges for your, uh, suit, which is great. Um, I'll show you what the middle part's like in a second. Starting from the third floor, it's not directly open to the bottom two anymore. 
Um, they do go stay opened up from the top, but you know, not to the bottom anymore. Again, while this is all going on, someone could be firing down from you. You can get the, the S another shotgun and the uh, hive hand here, which might be useful to rain down. Now, on this third floor, there's actually a little secret, if I can remember. I might be wrong. Yes. If you go to this little hole, you can drop down to get the gauze. Or, I mean, the Egon. I still get those confused. And that's the only way to directly drop down to the bottom two floors. Obviously, we can gauze jump out of that if you have it. So now let's move on to the next uh, tier. They all get smaller. I wouldn't have really called this the, the, the hill, to be completely honest. I would have called it the tower or the tiers or something like that. Tires don't exit, but anyway. So yeah, more batteries, very good stuff. The floors uh, aren't as connected. Like, it's not one big solid um, floor on the this one, the fourth one. As you can see, there isn't as many items on this floor, but you know. That's to be expected, because a lot of them are on the inside this time around. You go in here. In fact, I don't even... I got confused. I haven't... Showing I haven't played this as much as some of the other ones. There really isn't anything on the fourth floor, so what you want to do is get your ass up here. Just climb up the ladder if you don't got the gauze. And this is where the real meat is. You got this little bridge area. But now... Now you got the RPG. Which, you know, is always a fun time. Got some grenade, uh, SMG grenades, also a fun time. Shit. Good thing we got the gauze. If you can't tell already, gauze jumping in this map is insane. If you have it, you can jump like all the way up, I think. I'll try it in a bit. But yeah, once you have this thing, you basically won. Get a crossbow. There's no revolver on this map as far as I'm aware, so this is your only option for sniping. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing. And then finally, the top, where you got a ton of goodies. You got some satchels, you got more... Um, snarks, you got a hope in area that will get you, uh, quickly to the, one of the, well, like, the, the top three most, uh, the, from three up, you could drop into the different floors. And if you're a real gamer, pro gamer, playing with the normal, like, the, the not, the realistic fall of damage turned off, then you can jump down there for a quick exit. And yeah, with that also said, look at this right here. You can go all the way down for a marginal damage. And now I want to test, with the gauze, could you go... With the gauze, you could basically go all the way up at one time. So this is a, an absolutely insane map. I brought up before the term mischief when describing a map. This is like mischief the map. This is like insane hijinks. Like, just imagine, the bots unfortunately aren't too good at figuring this out. But, you know, just imagine having multiple people running around. You got explosives. You're thrown down to the bottom of the map. With like 32 people, just like doing some crazy shit like that. It's insane. And especially with all your stronger weapons. Once you're on top, you are the king of the hill. And uh, yeah, let's play it. I should mention that this is the only map that Valve added post-release in 98. The rest of the official maps, with the exception of Rapid Core, which we'll talk about that when we get to it, uh, came out in... Um, 99, early 99, just before the launch of Team Fortress Classic. Uh, so yeah, this is the anomaly of the group in a lot of ways. I mean, it's an anomaly just looking at it. Like, what other, like, official map looks like this? Which is probably why I played it. Um, I, I swear I played it. I have very, pretty vivid memories of it, in hindsight. Or at least partially vivid memories of, on um, one server, playing this map. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have thought it was official. But then again, you'd think, you know, on further data, they put Crossfire and, like, Gasworks on there. Why wouldn't you put it on... Why wouldn't you put that map, like, you know, the, like, you know, these maps in the game proper anyway? Like, maybe it's something to do with the PC Gamer, um... Like, add, like, you know, logo or something. Who the hell knows? Yeah, look at that. But yeah, see, don't be careful, because people are going to be firing at you from all the way up to here, even. Oh, I wanted to shoot him from all the way up here. That would have been dope. So yeah, take advantage of the... If you're on top, take advantage of this, of at least champagne. I might have been wrong about the SMG grenade remark. I think I was getting those confused with the grenades up there. My bad. Like I said, this isn't the map I, the map I played, like, you know, a whole lot of. I've only just remembered playing it, like, the other day when I downloaded it, so. Oh, yeah! I forgot to mention, uh, Mark Laidlaw, or Laidlaw, if I keep saying the name wrong, 
mention that this was, um, at least when the game the map was coming out, this was his favorite uh, Half-Life multiplayer map. Just a little fun thing for you. Kind of wish there were some uh, weapons out on the uh, beginning part, like outside here, but oh well. Oh uh, yeah, really good one. I am kind of sad that, you know, this never got put in the game by default so more people could play it. Oh well, if you want it, go grab it. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. Failure of is extremely improbable.